Jason, I have a question. You say the vapor canopy is going to return in 2046. No, I don't. The vapor canopy is going to return in 2040. It is a byproduct of the Phoenix Phenomenon. The Phoenix Phenomenon in the year 3895 BC in the month of May created the, the vapor canopy and the vapor canopy remained intact for 1,656 years up until the collapse of the vapor canopy again by the Phoenix Phenomenon. Both of them occurred on Phoenix years. The pre-flood world mentioned by over 41 ancient authors was 1,656 years long. And we have an equal amount of sources, scientific, textual, and traditional, and chronographical, that all date the Great Pyramid is 22-4, I mean, excuse me, not the Great Pyramid, but the Great Flood event, which was the collapse of the vapor canopy in the year 2240 or 2239 BC, which was a Phoenix year. Phoenix ended the vapor canopy and Phoenix will bring it back. That's 2040. 2046 is the return of the Nemesis X object. It has a totally different orbit. It is 792 years. The last time it was here was in, 20, was in 1314 AD. And in 1314 AD, it is an incident known in European records as the Great Black Comet. Because six l bright luminous comets had, a, had appeared in several years before that. It's the seven years of the seven comets. But they were all bright luminous comets, but not the seventh comet. comet. The seventh comet is just called a comet. They don't know what it was, but it passed over the sky and it darkened all the skies. It was a great black, and they call it the great black uh, comet. But uh, uh, William Brambley in God's of Eden talks about it a lot. That was 1314. Yeah, Nemesis X object, it goes to Aphelion for 732 years, but it's at Perihelion for 60 years, which means it's in the inner system for a 60-year period. This same 60-year period is mentioned by many, many cultures. It's mentioned, it's shown in, in archaeoastronomy monuments. Uh, in ancient Sumerian records, it says the Anunnaki had access to Earth for a 60-year period. Every bit of it makes sense, and I have documented each 60-year period that a uh, Nemesis X object was in the inner system. In every single one of those periods, major events in world history occurred. One of them you know really, really well is during a 60-year episode of Nemesis X object was the rise and fall of Alexander of Macedon, who became Alexander the Great, who basically conquered the, the eastern world, Persia. The west conquered the east. So, but anyway... Oh, and the last 60-year period starts in 2046, because from 2046 to the final year of the return of the chief cornerstone is 2106. That's 60 years from 2046 to 2106. And I know these numbers really confuse a lot of you. They don't really have meaning. But if you looked at my charts, you would see how incredible all this is, how the Great Pyramid shows the year 2106 as the return of the very top cornerstone that's to descend upon it, how the Great Pyramid is actually the monument of man and every single block represents a soul of man and the last 144,000 casing stones are the final 144,000 who die in the apocalypse when the monument is sealed and once the monument is sealed everybody else on earth is on the outside looking in because when the chief cornerstone comes to descend upon the monument of man the number of the elect is sealed and stopped. Everybody else on earth is a member of the beast kingdom and they will fight against the chief cornerstone. They will follow the seven kings who are known as the archons. But in other, uh, but in other traditions, they are known as the builders. So, <clears throat> hope that answered your question. I mean, I cover a lot of this in my Nuno Files videos. I understand that they're long, some of the videos are long and you go, go into them. Uh